hey youtube so i got a quick guide and easy and fast uh for the divine beast and fire blight um again and so you're gonna go ahead and kill all the enemies up here they're super simple um you can just use your magnetic ruin and just pretty much destroy everyone just go ahead and get on top everywhere you really so it's like super simple so i didn't make a video of that so you're gonna go ahead and just get in the cannons there's three cannons so you're gonna go from one and then you're gonna go to the other one once you defeat more enemies then you're just gonna hit it up okay, so i messed up right here so and then you put the bomb in there and it just shoots the cannon so it's pretty simple this part was this is probably like one of the easiest um divine beasts that i've faced so he's just gonna continue to move and he's gonna go higher so you're gonna go ahead and just continue and go to the last one put your bomb on bomb in there just go ahead and aim it and then just detonate it with the left trigger boom super simple um that just by far the easiest uh, part there so i'll go ahead and just let y'all enjoy these cutscenes and i'll be back in a bit on that thing, Link. It's time to finish the job. This is our big chance. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on! Alright guys, I'm back. So, this is super simple. Um, you're just gonna go where you start. You're gonna go all the way back and there's a chest here. Um, you can get it if you want it or you don't. Um, it just has an ancient ruin. An ancient screw, sorry. <clears throat> and just, this is the way I did it. So, if it's more difficult another way, I mean don't do it um this was super simple like i had no problems whatsoever i actually recorded everything in one take i usually save and go back but this was very simple even the boss battle so then i just come over here and then i just destroy this for a future i don't want anything to bug me so just go ahead and take that out And there's one very high up here. Oh, I missed that one. Alright, so there goes that one. I'm just gonna go all the way back now. I didn't cut any scenes like my previous ones just so because just so you wouldn't have any issues whatsoever, so you can see every step that I do. It's just a, a better guide for people, just so they can be more visual than oh go back, go right. So once you go in here, the doors close. There's eyes everywhere. Let's kill those guys. Simple. Also, right here, you're gonna aim to your right as soon as you get in the door. You can go by this porch and just aim right here. There's a shrine right there. Not a shrine, a terminal. And you're gonna get your magnetic ruin. And 
we're just gonna go ahead and hop on this terminal. There are four terminals remaining. That's the way. All right, so once you have that one complete, uh, you can just get your normal arrows. If you don't have any, you'll get some right now in a treasure chest. And just aim right in the middle of the eyeball and boom, that opens up another one. But we'll save this one for last because, I don't know, I just save it for last because you'll see. You open this chest, it comes with a dragon bone club, and you open this one, and that one has ice arrows, you're going to need these ice arrows, so make sure you keep these, and don't use them, and then you have a torch, this torch you're going to need, uh, it has a throwing uh, throwing perk, um, I didn't really use it, throwing it why? so you can keep it as a collection or something after, but... I discarded it. So I just press Y right there. And then boom. Just hit him with your arrows. Make sure. I didn't have that much arrows, so I just switched over to my fire arrows. I recommend you have a lot of arrows. Or you can use your bombs, but that takes more time. You don't need the fire one. And then you're just gonna get the torch. Bring it back. Walk, walk. Then you can put it out, and the map is right here. Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. So now we have the lights on, so thank, thank God, right? So then, this, uh, there's a shrine, like, right, not shrine, sorry guys, a terminal. So you're just going to go ahead and open this stuff, get your gear, and I'm going to drop a bow because there's going to be a better bow. So I'll just drop the knife bow. Okay, some more arrows. I need to go. So just, I know they give you five arrows, ice arrows, and that's, what, that's all you're going to need to kill the boss. You won't need more than that, so don't worry about not having enough arrows. Oh. There's another chest right here, Knight's Bow. That's the one I was gonna get. It has a quick aiming, so that help, that's really good for the boss. So then you're gonna go ahead and just go right here. Then you're just gonna turn it 90 degrees. I think that's a 90 degrees. But you only have one way, up or down, so go the opposite way. You're just gonna jump right up here. I jump up here because it's just safe for getting this terminal. So, just looking for any chest. So, now just glide down and there's a terminal there. Super simple, guys. There are three terminals remaining. All right, let's get moving. So now, just go ahead and glide over here. Just come this way. I just uh, removed it so it won't burn out. You can go ahead and just come all this way. And there's this chest right here, but I'll get that right now. I'm going for a chest that's outside to get uh, over with it. And there's another terminal, so you're just gonna go come back up here. And then just fly over here. Everyone should be able to glide. 
over here you shouldn't have any issues so ancient core that's a that's very sweet you need those for the ascended gear so then just go ahead and switch it over and just stay right there where I'm at exactly and there you go oh just be careful with the wind right there guys so just walk don't don't risk it like me so there goes another terminal there are two terminals remaining just a little more all right guys so watch this carefully how I do this stuff. so I go up on the left side I start gliding and this is for that chest that was inside so just start gliding slowly you don't have to rush it you can drop and drop down and do it but there's no rush it's you'll be in and out of here quick so another night spell Ooh, that one has more attack so let's go ahead and make some room for that I'll just get rid of this royal bowl royal bowl I think I said that correctly yeah royal bowl and that knight's bow it has more attack so that's gonna be good and obviously you're getting a lot of uh, a lot of um, bows for a reason so right there I messed up I was supposed to be up there so you're gonna go ahead and just come over here so and right here I'm gonna show you what we need to do we need to get a blue flame to this area which right there on the bottom which has a orb a ball there for the other terminal so you come over here you can you can glide just glide over here it really doesn't matter where you land just switch just switch it again get a get your torch light it with y or you can swing you can just get over here where this chest is rotate it again and that way you'll have a stairway to go upstairs. So make sure make sure not to jump or anything. I mean, I would just don't run or anything. You're just gonna have to walk it slow. So this is probably the most time-consuming part. But actually, we're already done. We have two terminals left. So you're just gonna come right here. You can just follow the way I did it. Just come to the edge. Come to the edge and just right there I press Y to light it, oh I missed it so that opens up a gate and so right here you can just I don't know why I was trying to climb it you can just flip it over so right here there was a enemy with the those little knights goes that you saw on my top left um, I think I missed something but it doesn't affect the video so see the ball dropped in there so now we just gotta follow it through and make sure it gets down there and you're just gonna run 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 all the way over here to this room so once you're in this room this is uh, left to where you start you rotate it again you're gonna get your magnet going Once it's flipped, just go ahead and hold it all the way up, and the boss should just roll in there perfectly. And boom, there's a terminal. Just one terminal remaining, just one more. Now you're just gonna want to rotate it again so you can get that last one. So remember where we did that arrow? This is where we're going. This is the last one. So you're gonna go in here, rotate it 90 degrees, and then you are gonna need a fire arrow, or you can just use the one that you lit there. But I'm pretty sure everyone has fire arrows or a fire sword. You can just swing at it or throw the fire sword. And actually, you can throw that torch that was provided. So you just pull this out, just drop it down, 
And don't do this, guys. Don't do what I did. Don't get in front of it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. So then you're just gonna get your ruin. And then just block the fire. And then you're in here, you hear the sound, and then again, tilt it 90 degrees. So you can do a lot of tilting, but it's not com complicated like the other Divine Bees. So, just that whistle, because it was the last one. Nice! That was the last terminal. Now go ahead and start up the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. You're gonna need to make your way over to that. Stay focused, little guy. Alright, so let's go ahead and go upstairs. Well, not upstairs. Up here. So, once we get here, you're just gonna follow the same way we got up there. If I miss the chest or anything, guys, just just let me know. Um, I kind of ran through this. It, it was pretty easy to me, so if I miss anything, leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all enjoy this cutscene. Right now. Alright, guys, So I am gonna go ahead and switch to my. Actually, you know, disregard that five arrows. You're gonna need more. So there's this boss was kind of weird. Um, I couldn't hit him. It wouldn't let me hit him like that. But then you'll you'll see. So what I'm just doing is spamming arrows in him, and it takes a great chunk. So I we can yeah. I tried I tried the bomb. It did take some help, but not too much. So once you hit him in the eye, you, you see this little thing underneath pop out. So that's the thing you need to hit. But since I was fighting him, I was back here. He was in the air, so I couldn't hit him. So I just keep spamming him with arrows. And just be careful with that fire. Uh, this was my first attempt, so I did kind of horrible. This was actually my first attempt. I recorded killing him, so I'm just trying to teach out what I learned. So I just kept hitting him with arrows, and you can really easily dodge those, but like I said, it's my first attempt, so I was just uh, messing around. So you see how that thing popped out underneath? Oh no, it's actually there. Oh no, see, it's not there. So I just kept hitting him. That's just me getting cocky. Then you can freeze time. Just hit him. And I'm just spamming him with ice arrows. And he just stays there, so. But there is this other method, so you'll you'll see that right now. Maybe I was too close to him. But I'll show you how that goes right now. So he's right here. I hit him with the arrow. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my strongest. That's 60. You just hold that trigger and then just you can hold the Y button if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the Y button when you have a heavy weapon and you just start turning and spinning or just hitting them in general. So now we're gonna be on this part so you can I was trying to hit him with ice arrows nothing was helping I was 
I was not doing any damage, so this part took me a while. So with the ice arrow, you can stop those. So keep your ice arrows for this part. If you don't have any other arrows, just... If you don't have a lot of ice arrows, just keep your ice arrows for this part, because you're going to need it. You really don't, because this part's super simple. So if he's sucking in, you just throw your bomb, and boom, you hit him. And then you can... For people who have weaker weapons and stuff, you can... You can use your stop time perk and stop him while he's there. And so right there I just I aim down with the with the LZ and then I press Y. Yeah, I held down Y. So like there you can just freeze time, hold Y while aiming down at him. Boom. Simple. This by far was the easiest beast to do. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna let y'all enjoy this cutscene. I'll be right back. So that's the boss fight. So if this helped you, go ahead and like it, guys. And if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and just comment below. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, make sure you have ice arrows. Just make sure, you know, you're doing what I'm doing exactly. And if you need another method, just go ahead and comment so I can help you. I'll find something. I'll find, I'll find a way to help you. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, YouTube. Because of you, my spirit is finally free. Can't thank you enough. I feel like I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century-old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I wanna give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess.
here. Now we just gotta wait for the perfect shot. Once Link is in the castle, Rudania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here. Even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Hey! Look at that! Still going strong indeed! Ha! <laughs> yeah!